Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had a child, Archie. As parents, we all want our children to be healthy, but some children are diagnosed with a disability. Will Archie be diagnosed with a disability? Is there anything in particular that puts Archie at an elevated risk of a disability? This video will discuss how Archie is at an increased risk of certain disabilities because of down with DCE. Yeah, you know you down with DCE? Yeah, you, know you down with DCE? Yeah, you know Who's down with DCE? When is the best age to have children? What would your answer be? If you had to give a specific age or a limited age range, what would you say and why? This is always an interesting discussion to have with the class. Answers, of course, can differ for many reasons. Some things that can be of influence on someone's answer include culture, religion, age, being a parent, career, etc. You could also very well argue that there is never a quote-unquote best age to have children. Considering the answer in your head, one thing to recognize is that births to younger women in their early 20s was more common in the past than it is today, and births at older ages in their 30s and 40s is more common today than it was in the past. In more recent years, a large shift has specifically occurred for women in their 30s. Do you think this shift of more women in recent years waiting until their 30s to have children is a positive or a negative shift? There is a list of positives to waiting to have children. Many students name maturity, school being finished, career establishment, more financially stable, etc. But are there any negatives to this shift? Waiting to have children, for example, until a woman is in her 30s and 40s can lower a woman's chances of naturally conceiving. As you can see in this graph, with age, conceiving naturally can become more difficult especially after 35 years of age. The graph claims that by the age of 35, a woman's chances of naturally conceiving decrease by half. Another factor to consider for women who wait to have children is an increased risk of the child being diagnosed with a disability. So let's go back to Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and their son, Archie. Will Archie be diagnosed with a disability? Of course, there's a lot to consider to answer this question, but one factor that research has shown to increase the risk of having a child with a disability is parental age. Down syndrome is one disability that is correlated with a rising maternal age. Specifically, many have used the maternal age of 35 years as an important shift in an increase in risk. That is, after a woman turns 35, her chances of having a child born with Down syndrome begins to dramatically rise. Here is a graph showing the positive correlation between Down syndrome risk and a mother's age. On the graph, I labeled how old Meghan Markle was when she had Archie, 37 years of age. Waiting to have a child until age 37 increases the risk of Down syndrome. Now please realize that rising maternal age is only related to an increase in risk. Conceiving a child after age 35 does not mean that child will have Down syndrome. Just the risk increases. So I'm not suggesting that Archie has a disability, only that rising parental age in his parents increases the risk. Also, I wanted to add that paternal age of the father is also related to an increased risk of a child being diagnosed with Down syndrome, although the discussion of parental age and Down syndrome continues to primarily focus on maternal age in most textbooks. Parental age, both mother and father, also increases the risk of a child being diagnosed with ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Here are the results from a study detailing the relationship of parental age to present increased risk of a child being diagnosed with ASD. Women over age 40 are 77% more likely than women under age 25 to have a child with autism. Women 
over age 40 are 51% more likely than women aged 25 to 29 to have a child with autism. Women aged 35 to 39 are 31% more likely than women aged 25 to 29 to have a child with autism. Women aged 30 to 34 are 12% more likely than women aged 25 to 29 to have a child with autism. Women under age 25 are 14% less likely than women aged 25 to 29 to have a child with autism. Men over age 40 are twice as likely as men under age 25 to 29 to have a child with autism, but only if the mother is under age 25. Beyond a lower risk of natural conception and a higher risk for Down syndrome and ASD, higher maternal age, especially after 40 years of age, is related to an increased risk of prenatal and birth complications, such as preeclampsia, low birth weight, and even fetal death.